Hey guys, welcome back to Maybelline's Makeup Loft. I'm Erin Scott and today I'm here to do a really exciting but kind of nerve-wracking challenge. It is going to be the Wet Makeup Brush Challenge. I think Michael Finch here on YouTube actually started this challenge and from the few videos that I've watched, it looks quite hard, but I'm gonna have some fun with it today and see how well I can do a full face of makeup using wet brushes. And they're not just like damp brushes, they're wet. So I've actually, I've got a bowl here full of water. Not the best thing to use for this video, but I'm currently in the process of moving into state. So my whole kitchen got packed up this morning and I forgot to leave a cup out for this video. But that's okay, we're gonna make it work. So yeah, let's just jump straight into it, I guess, and get this mess happening. All right, so I'm going to start off with my eyebrows today. I'm going into the Maybelline Master Brow Pro Palette in the shade Deep Brown. And I'm gonna use this powder shade here. I've got a little angled brush and I'm gonna dip it in the water and then dip it into the powder and yeah, see how this goes. I'm so worried I'm gonna destroy all my makeup by doing this challenge. All right, the brush has been dunked in. It's quite wet. And now I'm going... Oh my gosh, the water's just like balling up on the powder. All right, let's see how this goes. I feel like nothing's happening. Like the powder is just balling up. So what I'm gonna do is pick up some of the powder on my brush now that the brush is a little bit drier and then I'm going to dip it into the water. I can't tell if it's doing anything. Let's try the darker powder. This must be like a freaking waterproof powder or something because I feel like with the wet brush it's just like powder's not grabbing. Okay, here we go. This is where the magic is happening. I just needed a darker powder, I think. My brush is so wet right now. Like, I don't know if you can see the shine from the water on my brow. Feels kind of gross, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so that doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. They kind of look really dark. I feel like that last powder that I used went super, super dark when it got wet, so. Other than that, I think they look okay. But now, it's time to set the brows in place because we don't want them budging throughout the day. So, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer in the shade Medium Brown. And I don't really know how to do this. Should I just dump that into the water? I guess so. I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> oh my god. This feels so weird, so wrong. All right. Gosh, let's try this. I'm like trying to stop it from dripping all over me and the carpet below me. Uh-oh. What happened up there? Okay, well, my brows look a lot shinier than they usually do. <laughs> Other than that, I think this is like, brows are easy so far. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not struggling too much. All right, so I'm gonna do eyes next. I'm gonna go in with my Master Conceal Camouflaging Concealer to prime my eyelids. I'm gonna wet this brush and use this to blend it in. Can I like, hey, hang on. If I apply it like this. Oh gosh, that was too much, Erin. Holy moly. All right, time to dunk this brush into the water. <laughs> This is just all kinds of wrong. All right. Oh God, it's getting, the water is like running into my eye. Well. Oh. <laughs> There's too much water. Okay. So I just wiped that off. I'm gonna put a little bit more concealer on because it was going in my eyeball. And I'm gonna do that with a not as wet brush. So I've just dumped it in the water and kind of like pressed it onto a tissue just so that it's not like dripping wet because that was becoming a safety hazard. I would like to keep my eyesight after this video. So, all right, let's give this a try. That's better. I don't know if I just broke the rules of the challenge, but like I do care about my eyesight. So please forgive me. Oh, see, this is where it's hard because it goes all patchy. I mean, 
This isn't terrible, it's just super patchy and like the concealer's kind of sheared out because of the water, but other than that, I think it's okay. All right, so I'm just going to set all of that in place with the Master Fix Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. And again, I'm gonna dunk the same brush into the water and then just pat it dry because safety guys. I'm gonna pick up quite a lot of the powder because I feel like Oh God, no, that's still really wet. Like I knew this was gonna be hard, but honestly, I didn't know it was gonna be this hard. I can literally hear the brush squidging with all the water in it. So I really don't know how set my eyelids are gonna be. I don't know if you guys can see, as the powder is, I guess, like drying, it's kind of balling up and going all white. I'm really letting myself go in this video. I wish you guys could see below me right now because I'm wearing like black tights and this black top and it's just covered in bowls of white powder. <laughs> you guys see the powder? Oh my gosh. Oh, I look so crazy. Okay. I mean, now that it's dried, my eyes do feel set. Let's move on to do the rest of our eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the Burgundy Bar palette and I'm going to, I think I'm gonna run this shade here through my crease and we'll see how it goes. Okay, that's not too bad. Not at all, I feel like I need to wet my brush more though. It just like dried down as soon as I put it into the eyeshadow. It's not too bad. When the eyeshadow first goes on, it just goes on in like a really wet patch, but it dries pretty quickly. And I feel like as it dries, it gives you the chance to blend it out a little bit better. Look at that. That's actually not too bad. I'm actually so shocked at how well this eyeshadow is going. Like excuse all the white powder around my face. But other than that, the eyeshadow is actually blending really well. All right, let's go in with a dark brown. I'm gonna take this shade here on the same brush, so I'm gonna wet it again, and I'm just gonna try and pack that on my outer corner. I feel like a lot of Maybelline's products are super like water resistant. They like dry up the brush and it just dries really quickly as soon as it hits the powder. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this one isn't blending as easily as the last shade. It is blending, but I think because it's just darker, it's like, oh gosh. I don't realize that I'm doing it, but I keep bringing it like further and further up because I'm trying to blend it out. Okay, well, I guess we're just going for a really, really smoky eye today. Oh God, it's so patchy and just not good. <laughs> okay, well, the other side, went even worse, but it's fine. <laughs> it's honestly fine. Um, at this point, I don't know how to save it, but it's okay, it's okay. So I think I'm now gonna go in with this color here on like a flat shader brush. Oh, wow. This is like super creamy now. Oh, that actually looks really nice. Holy moly, that looks so good. Okay. Well, <laughs> let's do the other eye because that was ridiculously easy. Wow. I am loving that. I feel like I could save this. I'm just gonna take this brush, which is the brush that I use for my concealer. It's still wet and I just wanna like Pat it over the edges here to see if I can diffuse that and make it look a little bit better. Guys, I think it's working. It's working. All right, let's quickly do the brow bone. I'm gonna take this really pretty color here and I feel like it's gonna look even prettier once I wet my brush. I'm so excited. I'm just taking it on the same brush. So I've just wet it and dunk it in here. Oh, these glittery shades go so creamy and pigmented. Let's do the inner corner while we're at it, because why not? 
this is it looks like a mess right now but I tell you what I'm gonna clean it up and we're gonna make this work and because we're not using enough H2O right now we want to hydrate our face a little bit more so I am going to go in with the master prime hydrating primer and I think I'm gonna use like a stippling brush maybe to blend this in I feel like this isn't gonna be too bad like primer and water it it'll do the job if anything it'll just like shear down the primer I guess. Wow these bigger brushes pick up a lot of water. Yeah this is fine. It's the foundation that I'm worried about. So let's go ahead and mix up my foundation color. I've got two shades of the Superstay Full Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. I'm gonna mix these together because I think I'm like an in-between shade at the moment. All right, so I'm just gonna dot this onto my skin. And then I'm going to use a Kabuki brush to blend this in. This brush is gonna get so wet. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's like dripping everywhere. All right, it's still really, really wet. I've like dabbed it off onto a tissue, but it's still drenched. So let's see how this goes. Oh, it feels so gross and heavy on my skin. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it looks so streaky. I don't know if it's picking up on the camera, but it looks so streaky. Let's try and really buff it in. Okay, wow, the buffing is working. This is actually looking pretty decent now. It's just, it just feels super cakey. Like it feels disgusting on my skin, but up close it actually looks okay. So let's go in with concealer now. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser in the shade Fair. All right, now Let's use a small kabuki brush to blend this in. Brush is wet. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> oh gosh. Wow, what is it with concealer? It just like disappears when it gets wet. All right, I think the trick is to pat it in, not swipe. Maybe. Who really knows? Oh gosh. Concealer just doesn't like to blend with water. It's taking off most of the foundation underneath. <laughs> I don't know how to make this work. Maybe I need a bigger brush. No, no, I'm not gonna do that because that's just gonna be even more wet than this tiny brush. We're just gonna have to make it work with this tiny brush. I don't think I'm gonna be able to blend it any more than that. So I'm just gonna leave it there and we'll set it in place. My skin feels super tacky. All right, let's set that concealer in place. I'm gonna use the Setting and Perfecting Loose Powder. I feel like this is gonna turn out the exact same way that my eyelids turned out. It's just gonna like ball up on my face. Oh my God, this brush <laughs> so wet. All right, let's pick up some of this powder. Oh God, it's already balling up. All right. Yep, it's gonna do the exact same thing that it did on my eyelids. Oh gosh, look at it now that it's drying. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, <laughs> I'm not doing any more of this powder. Oh my gosh. I look like I've just baked. Like I'm gonna have to wipe away the excess. This is wild, this is so, so weird. All right, let's move on to bronzer now. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Face Studio Brick Bronzer in the shade 01 Blondes. And I think I'm gonna use, oh, see this is where we're getting into the really big dense brushes. I'm gonna use this brush here. This is not gonna go well. Can you guys see how wet that is? Oh, it's literally dripping. Okay, I'm going to like just pat the edges. Oh, <laughs> my under eyes just keep getting wider. <gasps> oh, this is where the video is going downhill.
Okay, it's not as bad as what I thought it would be. Honestly, I feel like it's just taking off my foundation. Okay. <laughs> We're just gonna roll with it. All right, well, the bronzer wasn't too bad. I'm going to brush away all of this white powder under here. Let's do some blush. So I'm gonna take my Master Blush Color and Highlighting Kit. Let's go with the pink. Let's just do it. Got my blush brush here. I'm gonna try and make sure that none of these other blushes get hit because I don't wanna ruin every single shade in this palette. All right. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're kidding me. Why did I think that wasn't gonna happen? Let's even up the other side so we don't look crazy. Wow. Let's try and um, blend that out with the wet bronzer brush. I feel like we can try and diffuse it a little bit. Do you know what I mean? Look, I feel like it's kind of working. Like I still look like a clown, but it's kind of, it's kind of diffused it. Let's just leave it at that. All right, now for highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Molten Gold Master Chrome Highlight on, let's do a fan brush. Gonna wet it. Yup. I feel like highlight could possibly look really cool. It's just gonna look like a line though, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it looks pigmented, but it's just like a stripe. <laughs> Let's just do a little bit of nose highlight as well. Just highlight the face a little bit. This is what I usually do when I highlight. I usually go all out and highlight as much skin surface as possible. <laughs> Get that Cupid's bow. Mmm. I look like a mess. Okay, we're nearly done. Let's do mascara. I feel like this is also another safety hazard, but it's part of the challenge. I'm going in with the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. It just feels so wrong dunking it straight into water. All right, I'm just shaking it off. So far it's not too bad. It's kind of just like, I have to pack it on heaps because the water is kind of shearing it out and my lashes are kind of clumping together as if they would in like the shower if they got wet or something. Okay, well, I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. And now it's time for lipstick. I'm gonna use the Color Sensational Matte Lipstick in the shade Beige Babe. Look at this, brand spanking new. It looks so pretty and I'm about to dunk it in water. It's going in. Oh, we picked up a little bit of mascara from earlier. It just feels really wet and it just looks kind of sheer. Like I guess it's going on as more of a balm than a lipstick. I mean, I think it looks fine. If anything, I just needed to put a few more layers on to make it, like to build it up. I actually really like that color. That's a really pretty color. So there we have it guys. This is the final look. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. In person, it actually looks a lot better than it does on camera. I guess now that the blush and everything's dried down, it looks a lot softer. Still picking up quite a lot on the camera. The highlight looks so pigmented, like it is blinding. And the under eyes are just like, let, let's not talk about that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's just something a little bit fun. If you liked it and enjoyed watching it, then please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to the Makeup Loft YouTube channel for more videos very, very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.